Oh shit, don't fall. Alright, it's a big day for me. And it's funny because God would send me these on April 1st and be like, April Fools, you're a fool. Why are you doing this? You gotta be a little crazy. But I'm 30 years old, you know, I played sports my whole life. Lost myself in my 20s. Found myself in my late 20s. I'm 30 now. And I feel like uh, I'm just like uh, I'm being reborn in a way. Like everything is new to me. Other than stuff that obviously I've been doing. But I've been branching out and open-minded and big into new things. Now, I've been practicing a little bit at my house for like, you know, because I watch, watch the sports and stuff. So, but I... <sighs> But I'm just getting into it now, even though I've been practicing at my house. I've been practicing with people. I know what type of shots I can take and everything like that because I've been in fights. Probably three fights and another one I don't, wouldn't call it a fight because it was just me getting fucking jumped bad. And uh, I was very sick too. So it was just horrible worst, worst day, dude. But it also shows you how much you can take. So, and that's with no gloves. <laughs> Six hands versus you. I I knew they were gonna be sexy, but goddamn, these are nice, dude. <laughs> They're better than the MMA ones that I got in so far. All right, you got this pack, Venom, baby. I like it because the color, and it's more of like a teal. Uh, it's bluish and greenish together, but not turquoise, because that would be like predominantly blue. This is almost like a predominant green mixed with a blue. You get this teal type color. I remember in um, it's gonna drive me crazy. Halo. The first couple of Halo games I would always pick my guy in teal. And that's a dope color, yo, so why not? Um, so now I'm gonna look pretty and be lacing people the fuck up. So uh win win. You know, I'm really excited about it because it really is. This is a new chapter in my life right here. And um, I've been fighting my whole life. I just didn't know it. You know what I mean? All of us fight. All of us have our own fights going on in our head or in our lives or quite literally. You know what I mean? There's many different ways. But I've been a fighter my whole life, especially from 19 to now. So just because I haven't been thrown, it doesn't mean... Dude, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to learn how to throw a killer lead hook. Like, it's just, you know. And I'm a southpaw, bitches. So, you already know what's going down. This is crazy to me. Because this is just... Uh, and I've been talking about it for a long time, but I've been pretty broke. And also, just... You know how it is, talking about something and putting it off. And that's, that, that's what, that was my life story. And now... I'm in my different phase, which is going to be called my catch-up phase. And no, not Heinz catch-up. But it's time for me to catch up. i got to play some catch-up. So, I've always been writing lyrics and stuff. So, this year I'm going to try to put out my first solo full-length album. Like, not as a band. I've been in plenty of bands and groups. But this is going to be me. I probably have a couple features, like my boys and stuff. I'm not going to pay for features, probably. Because um, I'm not like that. I'm all set. I feel like me and my boys' skill sets are better than these people out here in the industry. Do you know who I would pay if I had money? I would pay somebody like Joyner Lucas or Hobson or Tech Nine. I would not pay these people who mumble and drink lean, okay? I'm already battling against opiate addiction. I don't need to surround myself with that shit. I did get 12 ounces. I know 10's pro. Does it look like I'm going to go pro right away? No. Okay. Because I'm a realist. Alright. But this is also good. 12's pretty good for, for, they said amateur fights, especially at my weight. I weigh anywhere from 230 to 250, but I'm trying to get down to 205 and, um, and do MMA. I'm not even trying to do boxing, but who knows? I feel like the but my best weapons are my hands, so it would be like an easy out for me to just go boxing. And I'm not saying boxing's easy, and I'm not trying to downplay it. I'm just saying 
that seems like the most logical thing for me to do. I have great legs to hold me down and to ground me and stuff. And if people could just teach me better and proper technique, I can turn my my punches are quick and powerful. But I can tell compared to other people's techniques that it's quite sloppy as well. It's kind of a scrappy, you know. But that's what they would expect you to be, you know, as a beginner, you know. So and some people begin at four years old, you know. I never knew what combat sports were. I didn't know jack shit. I knew of boxing, but it was never presented to me like, hey, do you want to try to box? Hey, there's other people in your neighborhood boxing. Hey, let's grow up and do this. It was like basketball and football. I never got into baseball big or anything like that. So it was pretty crazy. But um, part of me says I'm mad that I didn't find it. <sighs> so hey, what's up guys? Um, I just opened these up and everything. It cut out, so there's a lot of stuff that I said and did. So in the meantime, yes, I had put the gloves on. They're kind of a real tight fit. I'm glad that I... Um, I'm glad that I also ordered an extra large because this is large adult. But, um, and it's all right. Like, I can already tell, hey, I slipped into them still. But I'm just thinking in my head, like, okay, I'm going to wrap my wrists into up to my knuckles. I'm going to wrap through my knuckles and weave through them all and stuff like that. And then, and then I'm going to pop these on. And it's starting to feel a little, uh, so I'm glad I got both. You know what I mean? It's not like they're super expensive anyway, so... Um, waiting for the other orders to come in. I should have the boxing gloves tomorrow, which will be exciting. I'll do a short video on that. And hopefully I either combine these or I just put them up one at a time. It's nothing special, but to me it is because it's the start of something new. It's, it's me committing. It's me investing. You know what I mean? All these things that I didn't do for years because I didn't care about myself. And, and I'm just, I'm fighting every day, and I'm trying to do it, and I'm trying to make stuff happen, you know. And I don't, I don't even mean fighting like that. I mean fighting, fighting battles within myself every day. Um, and I've been winning. Uh, it sounds crazy, but I've been beating my demons on a daily basis lately because they've been kicking my ass for as long as I can remember. So it was time for me to get my licks in. And, and, um... Yeah, that's about it. These things aren't bad. I do this with my um, with my bare fist anyway sometimes. So, so I mean, for me, as long as it's in a certain spot, I can handle it with these gloves. Um, it just depends. Like I said, some spots. Not not everybody when they go for a body shot is gonna go for the part that you have abs and that they can see your abs. They're not gonna go, oh okay, let me try to I bet you those are fake abs. I bet you he just draws them on. No, dude, people know. If they hit you a couple times and they don't get the reaction they're looking for, they're gonna target somewhere else. So always be smart with your elbows, okay? If you're not using a super high guard like that, utilize your elbows, dude. Your elbows should be coming over your rib cage because uh, I don't care. No matter how juiced up you get, even if you're on a cycle, dude, there's you're still going to be not protected right where your rib cage is, dude. Um, I've never seen anybody build like muscle mass that goes like boom, 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 like triple layer over your fucking rib Yeah, so basically this shit keeps cutting me off. I fucking hate it. I need to get a camera. I need to get a laptop and go from there. Because using your phone is getting really limited and annoying and stressed out, stressful for me. And it also makes it so I can't advance myself and get better at making videos. I can just, all I can do is try to lay it out there in, in like one or two or three takes and, and hope that it looks all right when I piece it together with it's not even piecing it together it's just rolling with it rolling with the punches but the volume isn't that great either I should get a really cheap small microphone to attach to me but um, I have a past that really that that act would be frowned upon we don't wear wires out here you know, maybe I'll just speak louder. But hey, I just wanted to say overall, I'm pretty excited. Today's April 1st, 2021. I'm pumped. I know it's a crazy thing. They gave it to me. God delivered this to me on April 1st. Like, hey, you might be an April fool. You might be a fool for this. But 
you know, you're all so brave. You got cojones, but you know what I mean? Because I'm not going to go out there. Dude. I weigh 230 to 250. So if you think I'm going to go out there and be fighting midgets, think again. I'm going to be fighting people my size or bigger. Okay, so that's no joke. <laughs> and you have to get over that. And um, I'm telling you, I feel the nervousness even when I think about it sometimes. My package goes up into my stomach. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. It doesn't feel good. It's like butterflies and nerves and excitement all at once. You don't know what to think. But, hey, I don't know. I'm just, I'm pumped. I'm pumped about this. I got these. I got these things which I tried on earlier in the video. And I was like, oh, yeah, good thing I ordered an extra large and I'm waiting for those to come because this large is really tight, even without hand wraps. Turns out it says M on it. I ordered a large and sent me a medium. What is this, a center for ants? Like, what are you on about, mate? So I can't, I can't mess with it, dude. I have to send them the medium and ask for a large. Probably just going to ask for an extra large, but I'll tell them the truth that I ordered a large. I'm going to be like, I ordered an extra large, got a medium. You were one size off. But the thing is, it's cool. It's a mistake, man. I'm sure you'll just tell me, send them back, we'll send them, whatever, blah de blah these were cheap ones anyways, these were like $11, not these, but, but these ones, okay? So as you can tell, I've always liked the color blue, and that's how we're going to roll, end the story, end the discussion on it. Um, all in all, say it for the 8 millionth time, I'm excited, I'm pumped, this is a new part of my journey in my life, and just getting it, like tangible, like in my hands, makes it so much more real for me, because... I talked about it and I never had finances to really even try to start off doing anything. You know what I mean? Um, you can only go so far with your talents and, and you're going to need a lot of people's help along the way. You can't just blow up by yourself. So just challenge yourself every day. Do whatever you can do inside your realm of possibility. And just continue to do the right thing every day. And I swear, there's something out there you don't believe in God, call it karma, whatever. Because that's... That motherfucker comes full circle, okay? And um, so if you're a good person, man, it's going to catch up on you one day, you know? I've been doing good things, but not too many good things have been happening, you know? Like loud pots and pans in the background and stuff. But, um, but no, in all honesty, it's all good. Just keep doing the right thing. Um, a reward will come in some way, shape, or form. It might not be money. It may not be a relationship with some girl who you like. It may just, it may come in the form of, um, success after striving towards excellence for X amount of years, you know? So stay doing the right thing. You guys keep your head up. Fight depression. Fight any of those things you're feeling. If you're getting too comfortable in your life, stop and analyze it because, Everybody likes to feel comfortable. I, I got real comfortable doing nothing during this whole thing. Um, and I just, I can't do that. I can't just sit here and eat and drink and sleep and die. I'm not, like, it's not a dog's life, dude. It's not. We, we're given an opportunity with so much more and to waste it as a slap in the face, dude. Um, so until the next time, stay safe, be blessed, and live lavishly. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye-bye.